Well, as you mentioned before, we know that DART was successful in, in knocking that small moonlet slightly out of its orbit and shortening that time by about 30 minutes. And so this kinetic impact technique, we know that it worked. But unfortunately, the spacecraft was destroyed when it rammed into that small moonlet. And so now we need this follow-up investigation. So now the European Space Agency is playing their part through the Hera spacecraft, which will make about a two-year journey, as you mentioned, and, and undertake some deep space maneuvers, including a flyby of Mars. And then once it reaches the system, it will actually deploy two small CubeSats so that we can really get an understanding, like you said, of the impact and the effect on the smaller body, but also to understand the physics that drive this peculiar shape that we see in the much larger 700 uh, meter diameter uh, Di Didymos uh, asteroid. So when NASA knocked the asteroid off course, it was an experiment, wasn't it? The rock wasn't going to hit Earth. They just did it to see if they could do it. That's exactly right. So this system was chosen precisely because it's far enough away that we know it poses no danger to impacting Earth, but it's close enough that we can reasonably uh, reach it uh, through a space mission and get that data back and forth and pretty close to real time. And so we can really investigate it in detail. And because it's a binary system, we can see this kind of interplay between the larger asteroid and study it in uh, very high detail. Rebecca, what's her capacity to spot asteroids that may be in danger of hitting Earth? Well, part of the challenge here is that you know this spacecraft is going to take two years to reach the system. And we have across the world today observatories that are dedicated, but also we see imagery that's being analyzed all the time. And even amateur astronomers are playing their part to help identify asteroids and comets. And this is a challenge for us. Even though we can see the most distant galaxies in the universe, spotting asteroids in our neighborhood is still challenging because they're small and they move very quickly. So that means we can find them, uh, but they might be pretty close to Earth by the time we do that. And so we want to have these kind of planetary protection uh, missions in place, know they work and know exactly what will happen if we decide to, uh, to impact an asteroid with the spacecraft to, to get it off course. Mm. And is there anything out there at the moment that we have spotted which could become an issue? Well, certainly, you know, we have... Um, Asteroids are always a concern to us. We know the dinosaurs didn't fare so well. And even smaller asteroids, which are only uh, 100 to 300 uh, meters in size, could still pose a lot of threat and, and damage to populated areas. So we know the Apophis asteroid, which ESA will then do a follow-up mission um, following Hera, the Apophis asteroid is meant to make a series of close encounters with Earth starting in 2029 and that ESA mission will approach the asteroid in 2028. And that one is a much larger uh, asteroid than we see with the Dimorphos, the small one that we were able to divert a bit. So we really need to understand, you know, with these different classes of asteroid, their different composition, their spins, all of these critical details, you know, it seems like a trivial mission. They're just rocks in space, uh, but everything gets a lot more challenging when you're off the surface of the earth. 